I thought in May, and I think still think now, that the the stimulus bill that passed in February was a whole lot better than not having that stimulus bill, but it could have been a much better bill in the sense that it could have been designed uh, so that it generated more spending on goods and services by consumers, by business firms, by government agencies, and, and especially by state and local. Uh, governments, colleges and universities are in a very bad way and are imposing salary reductions and they can't provide scholarship money for, for uh, needy students as they used to. Uh, a lot of those are state universities and, and I think a direction of more of the stimulus money to states and cities which would have spent it right away would have been useful. Nevertheless, it was better to have it than, uh, much better to have it than not to have it. It did do, or it helped to do, it didn't do it all by itself, it helped to do what it was designed to do. We know that in the third quarter of the year, the re real GDP, the output of the country's economy, uh, was, went up at an annual rate of 3.5%, which is not great. Usually in the, the quarter or two or three, immediately after the end of a recession, immediately after the bottom, uh, the GDP can grow at 6% or 65 or 7% uh, uh, a year because it's, it's making up for what it lost during the, during the recession. Uh, so what we what we generated with that stimulus package and with the actions of the Fed and the low interest rates and the provision of credit and all that, uh, we generated a fairly slow recovery. And uh, the professional forecasters uh, anticipate that the fourth quarter of this year, the quarter we're in right now, and the first quarter of next year, may be a little weaker than the third quarter, so that the economy will, I don't, some of them fear a, another downturn. I think that's less likely than a continued slow rise. Everyone has to understand that it's the slowness of the rise that keeps unemployment so high. The key fact is that the, the productive capacity of the economy keeps rising, even in the downturn, even during the downturn. Productivity has continued to increase during this, uh, during this recession, so that uh, even when the economy is growing slowly, it's not narrowing that gap between what the economy could produce and what the economy is producing. And it's only narrowing that gap that reduces unemployment, that provides net new jobs. So we have to have growth in the economy of more than 3% a year to diminish unemployment, to cut into the unemployment rate. And this there's a vicious circle here because uh, if we don't generate that, that growth and we don't eliminate unemployment, then the weakness in the labor market induces families to, to save more, consume less, to face uncertainty in that way, and that makes it harder to get the economy growing at a rapid rate. So uh, I personally don't exclude the possibility that uh, sometime in the next six or nine months, we might need a repeat of the stimulus. I think that's going to be very tough because I don't like large budget deficits over prolonged periods of time, which is what we have right now, but we're going to have to weigh the disadvantages of a large deficit against the 
possibly, probably, almost certainly worse uh, costs of a very weak economy, which will make it very difficult to close the deficit and will keep unemployment uh, high. So we're, we have a very tough problem. If we need, if I hope we don't, but if we need a second dose of stimulus early in 2010, that's a short-run problem. That's just trying to get spending by anyone, uh, by consumers, by business firms, by government, to, to get spending to increase to employ to employ workers and to use industrial capacity, which is now idle and, and going to uh, uh, to waste. So the criterion you want there is not what does this contribute to the long run productivity and growth of the U.S. economy, but what does this contribute to getting people back to work, producing useful things, and and my own belief there, and I've said this about the first stimulus package as well, is that we missed an opportunity to uh, provide funds for cities and states so that they don't have to lay off teachers, they don't have to lay off policemen and firemen, they don't have to interrupt necessary road repair and other construction uh, uh, projects. and. Uh, I still think that state and local governments are hurting very badly and would respond to more funding from the federal government by increasing employment in useful ways.